Hi, Rob Pine, champion of the underdog here. Today I'm coming to you from the suburb of Manunda in West Cairns. Please like this video and click on subscribe to stay up to date. Manunda was founded in 1973. It was named after a ship, the Manunda, that ran for the Adelaide Steamships Company. Today, Manunda is a suburb that has a high Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander population, as well as a lot of migrants to our city. It's a very diverse community. And right now, we're at the Rain Trees Shopping Centre, which is the biggest shopping precinct in Manunda. Out the back of Rain Trees, you'll also find the Manunda Library. You can access the library internally or here from the outside. There's also a drop-off box for late returns. You know, the Manunda Library has conference facilities, computers, and a lot of good things for local people. This library is the only library for Manunda, and it services the whole Triple M suburbs. We call it the Triple M for Mirabul, Manunda, and Manura, and this is the only library in the area. Manunda also has an Australia Post office just around the corner. I'll show you now. We've now popped over to the post office, which is also at the back of the shopping centre. This post office services the Manunda suburb and people obviously come here as they do to the library when they're shopping at Rain Trees. We've now just moved over to the Rain Trees Tavern, which is part of the shopping centre. I haven't had a beer in three years, but I think I'll have one now because I can't think of anywhere better to have a beer and watch the tally than here at Rain Trees Tavern. Here's the cans and here's the Manunda. Beautiful. I'm here at Cairns West State School at the moment. Manunda is a suburb of great income inequality and the great thing about the state funded education facilities in Manunda is they provide a great opportunity uh, for people to have a greater understanding of how the world works and try and change it for the better. Um, Cairns West State School has a lot of children from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander background as well as a lot of people from migrant communities. They embrace that culture here and offer those kids the programs they need to succeed. That said, let's go over and have a look at the Catholics. We're now outside St Francis Xavier Catholic School. It's a primary school and it's a really great school with a wonderful culture and it's a very caring wraparound um, system of education for the young people who go here. So I popped over to Trinity Bay State High School. Trinity Bay or T-Bay as it's fondly known to many locals is where a lot of the young people from Cairns West State School and St Francis Xavier go after they finish their primary schooling. It's got a really excellent record in terms of assisting students to further education. They've got a really great relationship with TAFE opposite, TAFE Queensland, and they facilitate that transition to vocational education training and further study. They also do some wonderful things for the migrant community, the indigenous students that come here. There's every world of opportunity here at T-Bay if people want to take advantage of it. So speaking of TAFE Queensland, let's leave T-Bay and head opposite to our TAFE. So we've just popped over the road from Trinity Bay on Eureka Street to TAFE Cairns. TAFE here offers a wonderful opportunity. It's got a really great record of transitioning kids from high school to study vocational education and training and then achieving first rate employment outcomes. Far superior than most of the private providers out there. So do enrol at TAFE. They're good sports. Speaking of good sports, let's head across the road to check out some of the sporting facilities on Horse Street. So now we've just popped across the road, just a few hundred metres from Trinity Bay. We are at a sporting hub here, and behind us is Griffiths Park, which is one of the best cricket grounds in the region. There's two cricket grounds side by side, behind Sports World next to the Cairns West Bowls Club. And on that side, we've got the local basketball. So this really is uh, a sporting hub right here in Manunda. And that doesn't look beautiful with all the money councils giving them here to do that ground up. Fantastic, beautiful picket fence. So I think I've showed you the education facilities, the sporting facilities, the shops, not much more to show you about Manunda. 
I'm sure this park would look good from overhead. Anyhow, I'm signing off. Let's fly.